Rejoice my friends because Season 2 of Jujutsu Kaisen is finally here. Season 1 was well received for its amazing animation and engaging plot, but I'll just say right now that just based on the manga material that'll be in Season 2, we're in for some of, if not the best content that JJK has all together. Season 2 is really going to be when the training wheels come off and we go head first into the major events and plot points of the series. Season 1 laid the foundation of the world and power system nicely, and this next one is going to put it all into play. Things are about to get way more intense, but also more complex. That being said, what I wanted to do today is give you all a spoiler-free breakdown of what to look out for or expect in Season 2 and lay out some important characters or moments to look out for as well. That way, if you're watching Season 2, you're not completely confused as to what's going on, because there will be a lot going on. So for starters, let's talk about what material Season 2 will cover. This new season will consist of 24 episodes and adapt Gojo's past arc from chapter 64 to 79 all the way through the Shibuya incident arc that goes from chapter 79 to 136. I'm not entirely sure if this season is going to cover the entirety of the Shibuya arc, but in my opinion it likely will. Gojo's past arc is pretty much everything you've seen in the various trailers and key visuals that Studio Map has been putting out in recent weeks. In this arc we travel back 11 years to the year 2006, where Gojo is still a jujitsu high student and is partnered up with Shoko and Ghetto. Now Ghetto is a character that you've definitely seen if you've watched season 1 of the anime. He's the guy with stitches on his forehead. But those of you that are anime only might have a ton of questions about his character. This is because if you watch the JJK Zero movie, you know that it's heavily implied that Ghetto dies at the very end, but he suddenly reappears years later in season 1. Well you'll definitely get many of your questions answered in season 2. And on that note, I think it's important to give Give you a clear timeline of events for JJK in terms of the anime because it does jump around a lot. The first part of season 2 which is Gojo's past arc will cover the first canonical events of the story. Then the events of the JJK Zero movie occur which then moves into season 1. So yeah it's pretty much the first part of season 2, then the JJK Zero movie, then season 1, then the second half of season 2. Kind of confusing but I'm sure you guys get it. Since season 2 will heavily focus on the relationship between Gojo and Ghetto before they fully bloom into the powerhouses that they become. I want to briefly go over each of their characters in general because you'll really need to have them down to fully understand the context of what's going to happen in this new season. Gojo for starters needs no introduction. He's the most broken character in the series with the six eyes and his limitless curse technique. Limitless in particular allows him to produce an infinite space between him and anything around him, making it to where any attack that comes his way can never actually touch him. It just moves closer to infinity. Along with this, Limitless allows him to use Curse Technique Blue, which is an attractive force that compresses space allowing him to do things like teleport and also essentially turn targets into magnets. He also has Reversal Red, which is a repelling force that can essentially be used as a projectile to launch at any given target. Finally, combining these two abilities allows Gojo to use Hollow Technique Purple, which is an imaginary force that Gojo can launch at a target which completely obliterates anything that it touches. Also, it technically travels in an instant. We see it used at the end of the Sister Event arc in Season 1, and it looks like this giant purple ball that gradually moves to his target, but in reality it's pretty much imperceptible by anybody and reaches its target instantly. This is pretty much the simplified versions of these abilities, so there is a lot more nuances to them, but we won't cover that in this video. Make sure to subscribe if you like that kind of content though, because I will be posting it on this channel. The reason I'm explaining all of this is because it comes into play in a major way in the first half of this season. Being a teenager, Gojo hasn't yet mastered all of the aspects of his curse technique and these episodes will explain how he finally is able to do it, resulting in the overpowered guy we see in the first episode of the anime. Along with Gojo, Ghetto is another player in this season where he gets a lot of the mysteries surrounding him answered. He's a fellow special great sorcerer that has the ability to control cursed spirits. We learn this in the JJK Zero movie where he can turn cursed spirits into an orb that he then swallows to take full control of them. Well also in the movie, we learn that he's someone who sees non-sorcerers as lower life forms that needs to be eliminated, pretty much any regular human. And this of course makes him the main antagonist of the whole movie, even though he was implied to be a former close friend of Gojo's. Well in season 2, he's still Gojo's friend, and we'll get to see what suddenly turned him into an enemy. Most importantly however, we'll finally learn how it is that Ghetto seemed to die at the end of JJK Zero, but then somehow be alive and well with stitches across his 
Warhead in Season 1. This I think will be the most exciting revelation for anime only watchers because we'll also get to see what Ghetto has been secretly planning throughout Season 1. He was seen to be kind of lurking and planning in the background of Season 1 while in Season 2 we're finally going to get to see his plan come into fruition in the latter half of the season. I mean keeping it spoiler free I only scratched the very very surface of what's going to be packed into this new season so we should all collectively be very excited for what's to come once this season concludes. Let me hear your excitement in the comments below and let me know if this video helped you out a little bit in getting familiar with what to look out for in season 2. Drop a like and make sure to subscribe because I post a ton of anime and manga content on this channel each and every week multiple times a week. Have an absolutely wonderful day or night whatever and I'll see you guys in the next video.